Good morning and welcome to my laboratory. What is all this then? Well, this is the same little Arduino circuit we've been working with, uh, uh, voltmeter potentiometer drive. And I'm still using for the sensor the photovoltaic wired just as before. Only this time I'm illustrating how to switch a heavier load uh, using a MOSFET. So I, in software then I've designated another output pin, pin 19 as a, as a um, digital output and I've put a 10 ohm, 10R resistor there to a MOSFET gate. That's an IRF 530 MOSFET, just a regular old MOSFET. It would be best to use a logic level MOSFET in here since you're only driving with 5 volts but a 530N turns on pretty well with 5 volts. Okay, and then I've from the source pin of the MOSFET, I have this, it's hard to see, but there's a blue wire that goes over to the ground of the Arduino. And then I've got a 12 volt battery and a 12 volt 25, I don't know, is that 15 or 25 watt bulb right there? And those are from the MOSFET gate to the MOSFET source. So the MOSFET is acting like a low side switch in this case because I'm going from positive to the bulb and then down to the MOSFET drain and then from the MOSFET source back over to the negative of the battery from the MOSFET source also to the ground of the Arduino so that the 10R can switch it. All right, so I have it programmed in the software to turn this bulb on when the, uh, when the bar graph display reaches the, the preset limit there. And that's, I, it's, I added two lines of code to initialize the pin 19 designated as a output pin and then an if statement to turn on the uh, the pot pin when the uh, or rather if else if the LED level is such that it fires the limit indicator light then turn on the pot pin else turn off the pot or turn on the MOSFET pin else turn off the MOSFET pin it's w one line of code for that and one line of code to designate the pin as an output and then of course you have to initialize a variable that has that name so that you can do it all in one step. Alright now I've got the photovoltaic turned over so that it doesn't fire but if I turn it up like this and then hit it with my green laser pointer and now the photovoltaic is of course responding to its own light, so there we go. Okay, now obviously uh, we're using 530 MOSFET to switch a 12 volt bulb and uh, get a really nice brilliant light but that could be any any kind of a load any kind of a load that you can switch with a MOSFET right and it's very very simple to do okay that's uh, using the Arduino's digital output pins to provide a gate signal to a MOSFET which is then switching a much heavier load than the Arduino itself could switch. Thank you for watching.